What's up, crypto fam? Welcome back to another R Bitcoin. As always, links will be in the description. And if you do enjoy this content, we upload four or five videos a week, so consider subscribing. With that, I'm Bitcoin Jake09, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. Number 10. Just released. No idea what this is. For immediate release, Missouri State Representative Phil. Allows legislation to protect consumer and entrepreneurs in the emergent cryptocurrency industry. Nice. Good for Missouri. Number nine. To anyone new or learning about Bitcoin, I highly recommend listening to Andreas Antonopoulos speak. He's a fountain of knowledge. Yes. Um, Andreas Antonopoulos uh, is one of the best things for bitcoin as a public speaker like he's really amazing uh the things that he does and has done for so long like crazy number eight good news jp morgan assesses bitcoin's fair value price at 150,000. oh yeah i'll say i'll sell uh jp morgan some bitcoin for 150,000 right now Number seven, Texas is becoming the world capital for Bitcoin mining in two years. The Lone Star State is on course to become the world's largest producer, dwarfing any foreign nation and the combined output for the rest of the U.S. That's quite interesting. I wonder what the power structure stuff's there. Like, I guess they're doing renewables and stuff or something. Number six, happy Bitcoin Friday. We got a nice little dip too. You know, buy the dips. What do we got here? A video? Yeah. What is that? Okay. This must be a dog, I can't tell. Looks like a potato. Oh, it's a, I think it's a seal. What is that? That's pretty funny. I think it was a seal, it looked like a potato. Yeah, seal up there. Um, number five, Bitcoin as hard money versus utility coins. I guess fiat or what? Oh, oh yeah, we. I don't know if we saw it here, but yeah, this is an interesting take. Bitcoin's the hardest money of all time. We agree on that. What do I mean by hard? <clears throat> hard is a reference to how hard it is to create more of it. How hard is it to create more dollars? It's not very hard. Not very hard, seemingly. If you're the right person. How hard is it to create more penthouses in Central Park, New York? A little bit harder. A little bit harder, but not impossible. If I gave them $500 million, I bet you they'd find me one, right? Of course they will. Okay. So, Central Park penthouses should, in theory, appreciate against dollars. Yeah. And this whole concept, like Raul Paul, like, well, what about Ethereum's going to appreciate because utility? Do you know well, the, the Ethereum highest doesn't utility have demand a, token of all time? A cap. dollar. It has more than a billion daily active users. Are you long that? No. So utility does not inform value or the price of anything. So wow, those let's are facts. get rid of that yeah. nonsensical scamming bullshit. So Central Park penthouses should, in theory, appreciate against dollars. Why? Because they're harder. When my dad was my age... A Central Park penthouse is maybe $500,000. Now, it's probably $500 million. That's in reference to its hardness. How hard is it to create another Bitcoin? It's a trick question. Bitcoin is the only monetary asset in the universe, in human history, where it is impossible. Only time ever, ever since you the You won't be able to replicate itself. it. So, in theory, Bitcoin should appreciate against everything, ever. And we're like, well, why is it going down? I don't know. You know the beautiful closet I broadcast out of? The person below me selling their unit. 
if that person sells the unit for a dollar, does it make my house worth $2? No. Why? I have a beautiful view and a beautiful closet. It's not worth $2. Why would they sell it for a dollar? I don't know. Maybe they're going through a divorce. Maybe they mismanaged their taxes. I feel real bad. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Whatever you're going through, I feel bad. So if someone sells a Bitcoin for $30,000, $30, does it make mine worth $30,000? No. For the only monetary asset in the universe's history since life itself existed, there's never going to be another? No. It's not worth $30,000. For those out there selling it for $30,000, I feel so, I'm so sorry about that. I feel terrible. So, okay. That's Bitcoin, the asset. So the individual. Yeah. I need to look up the, the full video of that sometime again. Um, number four. Ontario court freezes access to funds to truckers from give, send, go. Well, good thing they got Bitcoin up. So it happens when governments have control over the money supply. This is a modern day example of what occurs when the powers that B, don't agree with your views. This is the perfect example of why Bitcoin is needed in the world and why we must fight tooth and nail to prevent government regulation over the asset. A lot of it, I will say a lot of it is also because of third party stuff. Like if they, if there is a way that they could bring physical cash donations to those truckers and go like, let's say they had, you know, you know, thousands of dollars. They could go hand like a few hundred dollars to each trucker to help with fueling food whatever you know as they walk through or something but i don't know the more hoops you gotta jump through the more rules are gonna be to jump through them number three we got my finances employer my fiance's employer wants to see my holdings what my fiance's company is requiring its employees and anyone who lives with said employees to disclose their crypto holdings. Am I legally obligated to do so? They already have access to my Fidelity account and now they want my Bitcoin too. Apparently they have some blacklist and Bitcoin will never be on it. And at this point, I might just transfer what I have in Coinbase to my cold storage and tell them I have nothing. Anyone have a similar situation or ways to get around this? Thanks, Edit. Thank you all to who provide insight. I think I'll transfer what I have on the exchange to my cold storage and be done with it. Man, that's crazy. Like, no. <laughs> Number two, Bitcoin's true value is somewhere between 500,000 to 10 million. And it will get there faster than anyone could possibly imagine. MicroStrategy bought Bitcoin in 2020. Two years later, an institutional wave of money is now entering. El Salvador bought Bitcoin in 2021. By 2023, a wave of sovereign nations will be buying Bitcoin to hold as reserves. Bitcoin's fair value is somewhere between gold and global debt, which is between 10 trillion and 200 trillion. So 500,000 to 10 million per coin. New tech is always overvalued before... It is fully adopted, just like the dot-com bubble in the 90s, getting way ahead of itself before most people even had a home internet connection. Bitcoin will not rise slowly. It will not give people the chance to take their time. It will melt faces off as it leaves everyone behind. A million dollar Bitcoin will not take another 10 years, and it doesn't need to be held by 5 billion people to get there. It will be overvalued way before mainstream adoption takes place. Once institutional FOMO is well underway and sovereign nation FOMO is heating up, the price will rise by 100000 in a month. That's facts. I, I agree with that. It took 12 years to go from zero to a $100 trillion market cap. And once we are solidly above $1 trillion, it could reach $2 trillion in a matter of months. Bitcoin will find its true value somewhere between 500000 and $10 million per coin, and it will happen faster than anyone on Earth could possibly imagine. Some very interesting perspective there. Number one. Toshi Nakamoto published this 13 years ago today. Bitcoin open source implementation of peer-to-peer -peer currency. On peer-to-peer -peer foundation website. On their forum, or their blog, or whatever. Look at the views, wow. This is so crazy. The like... That's so crazy. Like, history and Bitcoin. Anyway, 
that is it for the R Bitcoin top 10 past 24 hours. As always, I'm Bitcoin Jaco9. Peace, love, and hodl.